Whoa. Now that is some armor. Check out those hydraulics. Yes. I heard about your signal interceptor. Now that you've found the Institute, I hope you do the right thing. Doctor, my friend here needs your help. Oh? I'm not a mechanic. What could she possibly want from me? Greetings, Doctor. I wish to download my data and core programming into a human brain. You... you want what? Is she serious? Don't look at me. It's her idea. Why do you want this? I was programmed to further our studies of disease, pathogens, and viruses. I cannot do this with the fundamental limitations of my robotic systems. If I become human, with a wealth of information in my databanks, I hope to do much good for the Commonwealth. A pre-war robot with your knowledge and skills, plus human cognition. Yes, you could potentially save many lives. It's an interesting problem. The memories wouldn't be hard. We translate those from the brain to computers and back all the time here. It's how the loungers work. Her personality, though. All the extra pieces of robotic program decision-making. A normal organic brain wouldn't know what to do with them. A synth brain, on the other hand. Well, it's already somewhere between the two. You're not suggesting... I won't kill a synth. I'm suggesting nothing of the kind. Allow me to explain. I've worked on synths before. Giving them memory wipes so they can live a life free of the Institute. But the procedure isn't always successful. If something goes wrong, it can leave them in a brain-dead state. Living, but with no cognition. I know a caretaker for one of these brain-dead synths. If they're willing, we could try transferring your friend's consciousness into her. I'd like to try. We just need her caretaker's consent. Give me a day to get in contact with them. They're understandably cautious, but I think they'll hear me out. I will stay with the doctor. Assuming all goes well, I want to be ready for the procedure. The caretaker should get back to me soon. She's not one to wait. The reactor floor isn't perfect, it can be hazardous to your health. You're the one that wants to use G519's body? I... I just don't have the caps to keep her alive anymore. Life support ain't easy or cheap, you know? I was gonna pull the plug on her. What you're proposing sounds... a little better. Better than letting her rot. She'll be giving what's left of her life for someone else. Yeah, 
That sounds pretty good. Since G5 has no one else, for what it's worth, you have my consent. Thank you. I know this must be difficult. Yeah. I'll leave you to it. Curie, let's begin. Curie, terminate all non-essential operations. Affirmative. All right. Connection complete. I have access to your friend's memories. G5's already been prepped, so this shouldn't take long. Yes. There. <gasps> I... I... My chest... What is happening? Just breathe. It's an autonomic function. Just let your body do what it must. I... I feel... I feel so strange. Listen to me. Can you tell me what is your name? My designation is Contagion's Vulnerability Robotic Infirmary Engineer. Or Curie. You had me worried there. Do not concern yourself. I feel better now. Good. Very good. Now let's test some cognitive functions. What is one plus two? Three. If I threw a baseball at your head, what would you do? Uh, move. Think of a strong memory. The first that comes to mind. Tell me about it. <sighs> Dr. Barrow was very old. He was the last living scientist in my section of Vault 81. He was on his bed, very weak. He said to me, Curie, you must... And he died before he finished the sentence. Oh, my insights feel peculiar. What is that? You might be feeling grief for a friend. This unit has no friends, but there. My chest is tightening when I think of poor Dr. Burrow. The operation appears successful, but I think it will take a lot of adjustment for your new friend. She may need your help to make the transition. Thank you, Doctor, for this opportunity. Humanity. I heard about your signal to cling to life despite all of this. It institute. is the duty of us I all to Look alive. What? Remember to breathe. I keep thinking if I forget to do this, no more curry. And suddenly, all this excitement we do, there is an element of something new. What if my arm is blown off? It is not so simple to repair this now. Don't worry. I'll keep you safe. That makes me feel... better. Calm. I... I will be fine. It is coming to me. Quickly, I hope. Just bear with me. I am sure my research will blossom with this magnificent new hardware. 